Praise God. God bless you, everyone. Uh, it's a blessing to come your way this morning. Uh, welcome to the Awakening of the Dawn prayer um, session. In the 30 days fasting and prayer. Uh, I thank God for all of your lives and I am glad to come and share the word of God with you and to pray with you. I strongly believe it's going to be a blessing. And so please stay with me. Uh, we're going to have a wonderful time in the presence of God. Um, I thank God for our daddy, our father in the Lord, Reverend Steve Mensah. Um, this is your man seven, um, John B. Kwanza, Prophet John B. Kwanza. And this session, we're going to be looking into the Word of God and we're going to pray and there will also be a prophetic ministration. So you want to be attentive and be connected and it's going to be a blessing. So wherever uh, you are, please get yourself prepared. We also thank God for Mama Jane Mensa. Thank God for Papa and Mama. God bless you all. All right. All right, let's look at something in the book of Isaiah 58. Also recognize um, uh, Pastor Mike, great man of God, man of God, God bless you, and all the leadership. All right, Isaiah chapter 58, verse number 6. Isaiah chapter 58, verse number 6. We'll be reading some few scriptures down. Is it, is it not this? The fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. Is it not to deal with thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou sees the naked that you cover him and that you hide not yourself from the, your own flesh. Verse 8. Then shall your light break forth as the morning and thy health shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Father, thank you for your word. There is already anointing and power in your word. Holy Spirit of God, have your own way. We subject any demonic powers under div divine subjection. My God, anoint me with the tongues of fire. Let your power be strong upon me today. And let your people be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, well, since we are in the fasting period, I want you to draw your attention on this particular scripture where God himself spoke through uh, his man servant, the prophet Isaiah. Now, Isaiah 58 verse 6, the Bible says, is this not the fast that I have chosen? So that means there are some times and points in your life God specifically chooses some fastings for you. Uh, and they say, is this not the fast that I, the Lord I have chosen? Now, God chooses a fasting or asks us to fast and pray for certain purposes and certain reasons. Now, please understand that. Now, we're going to see the reasons and the purposes God says, I have chosen this fast for you to do. So those of you who don't want to fast and don't like to fast, I'm hoping and I'm praying that you will get yourself involved during these 30 days fasting and prayer. I believe it's going to be a blessing. Now, number one, he said, is it not the fast that I have chosen? Number one, let's see the reason why God chose uh, this fasting. To lose the bands of wickedness. I have chosen this fasting. Number one, to lose the bands of wickedness. Now, hear me. The reason why many of you and us have to fast and pray is because there are so many bands and bonds of wickedness. And God says, during that fasting, during your fasting and prayer, I am to lose you from these bonds of wickedness. I tell him, uh, now pray for somebody, wherever you may be, that any bonds of wickedness that the enemy has placed on you, let it be broken off your life. Because many of you, when the bonds of wickedness are upon your life, you will try hard in life, but nothing happens. It is a limitation and it's an obstruction. It is a hindrance, it's a blockage. But God said, uh, if you fast, 
the fast I have chosen for you, I will break and I will loose you from the bands of wickedness. The book of Psalm verse 9. The Bible says, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Hear me. It is the duty and the responsibility of the wicked to cause wickedness. The wickedness of the wicked is to cause wickedness. Is it no wickedness that a woman will marry and be in his, her matrimonial home and be faithful and be praying but yet without the fruit of the womb? It is wickedness. It is wickedness for you to be working 24-7, doing your best. Yet you struggle to find spirit. It is wickedness. It is wickedness for you to be on a sick bed for no reason. It is wickedness. So God said, uh, during this season, I am. I want you to fast so that you lose. I lose the bands of wickedness from your life. Many of you, there are so many wickedest activities in your father's background and in your mother's background. Wicked orchestrations, wicked stuff. The Bible says this man at the pool of Bethesda had been at the pool of Bethesda for thirty-eight years. Everybody had deserted him. The man who was literally left to die. And Jesus came in. He came in. And Jesus said, get up and take your bed. It was wickedness for that man to be left to die in that place. But hear me. In the time of your fasting and your prayer, God said, I am breaking you out from that wickedness. And I pray for you wherever you are. Let every bounce of wickedness be broken from your life. Every bounce of wickedness in your life, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Number two, he says, to undo the heavy burdens. <laughs> Many of you, you are walking with some spiritual heavy loads. You are carrying some burdens, both in the spirit and in the physical, that you yourself cannot bear. But Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, the Bible says, that it shall come to pass in that day, that the yoke and the burdens of the enemy shall be broken off you because of the anointing. And so, when you engage on the, on the altar of fasting and prayer, the burdens of the enemy that has been placed on your life, it breaks off your life. And in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, and in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, let every balance of wickedness be broken. Let every burden be lifted off your life and may you be set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can I hear amen wherever you are? Now, number three, he says, and to let the oppressed go free. And to let the oppressed go free. Now, hear me. Many of you have no idea how the enemy oppresses your life. In the book of Exodus, the Bible says the children of Israel were oppressed and they were afflicted by their taskmasters. Exodus chapter 1. And every day they were tasked to do things that was beyond their normal capacity and strength. They were afflicted with bones and with wickedness. They were going through all sorts of humiliation and affliction and tribulations. Many of you, that's how your life has become now. Every day you are doing something and you are being afflicted and you are going through one problem or the other. Now, to your surprise, whilst the children of Israel were, were under that oppression, they were not even being paid. Hard labor, hard labor without wages. That was the uh, lifestyle of the Israelites in the land of the Egypt, in the land of the Egyptians. But God heard their cry and prayer and said, I am setting you free from this oppression. Now hear me. I don't know what type of oppression or affliction or tribulation you are going through. But I have a word for you that during this prayer and fasting, as Psalm 34 verse 19, the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers him from them all. And I pray that may God deliver you from any type and kind of affliction, any bondage that the enemy places on your life. Let every oppression be broken off your life in the name of Jesus. And so you must understand that many people are under spiritual oppression. 
the spiritual atmosphere and the canopy over their lives does not allow any access of spiritual release into their lives. Why? Oppression. So, you see in Isaiah 58 verse 6, the purpose of God's chosen fasting are being listed. He says, to, number one, to lose the bands of wickedness. Two, to undo the heavy burdens. Three, and to let the oppressed go free. And number four, and that ye break every yoke. My God, my God, my God. And that you break every yoke. This is God speaking. This is not a human being. This is not any man. It is God himself speaking. Saying that if you connect to this fast, I will break, number one, the bands of wickedness. Number two, I will also undo heavy burdens. Number three, I will let you go out from any oppression. And number four, that you break from every yoke. Every yoke. I have already quoted Isaiah 10, 27. The Bible says, it shall come to pass that in that day, that his burdens shall be taken off you and his yoke off thy shoulder. And the Bible says, and the, and, the, and the burden and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So, in the time of your fasting and prayer, God breaks the yoke. He breaks the burden. He loses you from the oppression. I pray for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every yoke be broken off your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let every burden be lifted off your life. So many of you don't understand why God listed these things. When these four things are in operation in your life, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter the effort that you make in life. Nothing happens. You won't see any breakthrough. You won't see any fruitfulness. Because the wicked is afflicting. The wicked are afflicting you. The Bible says to lose the balance of wickedness. Wickedness are happening. Oppression. You are being oppressed. Do you know what it means to be oppressed? Many of you have, are, are under spiritual oppression. That's why when you go to bed, you can't sleep. That's why it doesn't matter what happens. You are not happy in your spirit. You are under oppression. Some people are under oppression in their own homes, their marriages, their workplace. They are under oppression. But in the name of Jesus, as you are connected, let every oppression be broken off your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you see the reason why God chooses a fasting for us. And Jesus says something in the book of Matthew chapter 17 verse number um, seven, um, 17 verse 21 Jesus said how be this situation does not go except by prayer and by fasting and so there come a time you must you know skip the breakfast, the lunch and the dinners in order to break certain unbreakable situation there are certain chronic situation it, re it requires the child of God to engage on the force of prayer and fasting to break out how be this kind does not go except by prayer and by fasting so there are certain situations in your family in your life it will not go by chance or by accident it will go by sheer determination and zeal and purpose of engaging in the fasting and prayer of God to break out of it. Huh? I don't know that kind of chronic disease, that situation that you are in, but as we are praying and fasting, I see you breaking out. I see you breaking forth. You will break loose. You are breaking out from any type of oppression. Don't try to fix spiritual situation with carnal situation. Don't try to fix spiritual situation with carnal situations. Don't fix spiritual situation with carnal situations. Jesus said to the disciples, they came to him and said, Master, how come we could not heal and cure this young man? How come that we have stood on this young boy all night praying? But nothing happened. How come that we could not deliver this young man from this oppression spirit? But you, you came and you commanded the demon to leave, and the demon left. And Jesus revealed to them the secrets and the mysteries 
behind their failure. And he said, it is because there are certain kinds of situations and conditions it does not go except by prayer and fasting. Why? Because there are some demons they are stronger than you in the spirit. And for you to be able to overcome them, you must build up spiritual muscles. So Luke 11, Jesus said, if somebody wants to go into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, he must first bind the strong man. And so, how can you bind a strong man? Jesus said, except someone who is stronger than him. Somebody who is powerful than the strong man. So there is always strong man than the strong man. There is always a stronger man than a strong man. Many of you, there are some strong men, spiritual strong deities in your family that controls your finance, controls even how you serve God, controls your, your Christianity, they control your relationship, they control your life at large. But guess what? Jesus said, you can overcome that strong man by engaging the force of prayer and fasting. This thing does not go except by prayer and fasting. So we want to pray. We, want, we are not here just to, you know, <laughs> just to sit down and no, 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 no. It is time we build spiritual muscles by praying and fasting. Going before the Lord on the altar of prayer, crying, Oh Lord, let this thing be broken. Let this thing be broken. One woman like that in the family, nobody gets married. Nobody gets married. This woman has been in the house of the Lord all her life. This woman has been serving God all her life. And nothing was happening. But one day, when she decided to engage in the force of fasting and prayer, at the age of 60, when she was 60, a man from nowhere came and said, Woman, I want to marry you. 60 years old. Ah. This man first went to the pastor and said, uh, Man of God, I want to get a woman to marry uh, in your house, in your church. Please help me. The man of God began to point to certain ladies with all the vital statuses. Ladies with, with jobs and businesses. Oh, this one will be good. That one will be good. This one will be good. Meanwhile, the man has spotted what he wanted. And the man said to the pastor, I said, no, man of God, please. All the ladies who are pointed, they are all nice and good. But this one, is the one I want. The man said, ah, how old are you, sir? He said, I am 55. He said, but that woman is older than you. She is 60. He said, no, that is what I want. 60 years. Nobody could convince that this man otherwise. The man said, I will marry you. From nowhere, the man married the woman. At the age of 60, by the time the woman hit 61, for the very first time in her life, she got a baby. Hear me? When you engage the force of fasting, the impossible can happen to you. At the age of 60, by the time she was 61, she was carrying her own baby. This is not a something, a story I heard. It's something that I have seen and I know. This woman engaged in prayer and fasting. Hear me? I don't know who said to you, you cannot prosper. I don't know who said to you, you cannot be healed. I don't know who said to you, you cannot marry. I don't know who said to you, you cannot have a baby. Today, as we pray and fast, every bounds of wickedness is being broken off you. And you shall surely overcome every forces of darkness. By fasting and prayer. So, you must understand there are situations that you only need prayer and fasting to pray. To break them, to break forth. Now I want us to be on our feet, wherever you are. I want us to begin to pray. Begin to thank God for the word of God. Thank God for the revelation. Thank God for his kindness. Begin to bless the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Microphone. 
La paya da da bosha. Apa kola ba. Apa baba. Apa shobra ta. Le baba bra. Apa bara da da so. Come on, go ahead and pray. Go ahead. La pasta la basha. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. La pa to shaba. La pa tele le le bota. Le ba ta la bata. La pa ka baba. Lo ba la bata. Le ba bata ya. Lift up your voice. E kabanta. Lift up your voice. Le ba la bata ya. La pa li mata. La pa li mata. Lift up your voice in prayer. Go ahead. Le ba bata. Lord, we thank you for your word. Now pray for the. The, the endowment of power that the Holy Ghost will grant you power, spiritual strength, and capacity to be able to break the bands of wickedness. Go ahead and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Galabata. Oh Lord, grant us power and do us with power. Le pandori a masca prosta baya ba le ma papa le papa prata le le sta baya andori and pray le ta ya ba le ya le ya masca prosta baya ba le ya masca baya ba 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 Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Now we are praying, saying, Lord. As we pray and we fast during this period, let every bands of wickedness be broken off our lives. Let every oppression break off our lives. We break every yoke off our lives by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice. 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 La papaya, 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 la Let every oppression be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let every oppression be broken now in the name of Jesus. La papaya, 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 la
We break every oppression. We break every limitation. We break every obstacle by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Travel in prayer. Travel in the spirit. Travel in prayer. Any yoke is broken by virtue of your prayer. Every obstacle is broken. Come on, travel in prayer. We break the yokes, we break obstacles, we break limitations, we break hindrances. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Let every burden be lifted. Let every yoke be broken. We break every yoke, we break every obstacle, we break every limitation by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we are praying that from today, any yoke in our father's house, from our mother's house, that limit us any burden upon our lives as we pray. We command them to be destroyed. Jesus. We command every yoke to be scattered by fire. Jesus. Every burden to be broken off our Jesus. lives. Jesus. Every affliction and oppression, any type of tribulation, affliction, we command them to be broken. Lift up the voice and pray. Jesus said, This kind does not go except by prayer and by fasting. And therefore, as we pray, we break the forces of darkness. We break the limitations of the enemy. We break 
every obstacle, break every hindrance by the power of the Holy Ghost. We break the yoke, we break the obstacle, we break the limitation, we break every hindrance by the power of the Holy Ghost. We break free, we break loose, we break out, we break from by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let us go. Let us go. Let 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 Hey, we break the yoke, we break the burden, we break the limitation, we break obstacle. Hey, let them be breakthrough. 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 La papaya, la paya daya, la papaya, la papaya. Hey, lift up your voice, 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 we break the obstacle. Up us. Up 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 he disappoints the devices of the Christ so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise or their activities. God disappoints the devices, the agenda, the purpose and plans of the wicked, of the craft, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. We are lifting up prayer on this prayer altar that any agenda, any activity of the devil assigned against our lives and our family we declare let them be disappointed let them not be able to um, operate let them be able not able to be able to do it against us they cannot perform their enterprise whatever they plot and plot against us we declare they will not be able to perform Jesus. We send every arrows of the enemy back to the sender. Come on, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. 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 Lift up 
Babaya Baba Doria Maskaya Doria Ba Lebros Kaba Babaya Ba Kabaya Baba Doria Lebras Kabaya Baba Doria Ba Kabaya Baba Doria Ba Let every young man be a sender. Alaba Lebras Kabaya Baba Baba Alaba Lebros Kabaya Baba Doria Ba Kabaya Baba Doria Ba Kabaya Baba Doria Ba Lebras Kabaya Baba Doria Ba Lift up your voice. 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 Papa, la papa, la papa. One end but establish the church for the righteous God. Try the hearts and raise Psalm 7, verse 9. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Many of you, there have been so many wickedness in your life, Jesus. so much wickedness against you, so much demonic activities against you. Wow. But the Bible says, The wickedness of the wicked will come to an end. Jesus. Now, notice that this was a prayer. He says, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. It is a prayer. So we are praying, oh Lord, let every wickedness of the wicked against my, my, my marriage, my finance, my health, my destiny, we command them to be broken. We command them to come to an end. Come on, let's have the voice of Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. There is somebody, the Lord is saying to me that you have been trusting God for the approval of that deal, of that contract. That approval has been hanging for a long time. But I see an angel of the Lord releasing that approval for you. Right now, it is. Now, nothing of the enemy will be able to hold that document back. Jesus. God is causing a release. Let there be a release right now. In Jesus name. The Lord is ministering to me. There is a woman you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And it's been a long time. But the Lord said, a year by this time, ah. you shall have your child. Jesus. A year by now, year you by shall now. have your baby. In the name of Jesus. Nothing of the enemy yeah. will be able to hold you back again. In the name of Jesus. There is a financial breakthrough for somebody. Jesus, ah. The Lord ministered to me. There is a gentleman that the doctor said you have a hernia. It's like affecting your kidneys. The Lord is ministering to me. He is touching you with healing and deliverance right, right now. now in Jesus. I see the touch of God in the name of upon Jesus. your life. In now, the name of let's Jesus. see something in the book of Psalm 75. Psalm 75 verse 10. Psalm 75 verse 10. We want to pray. Oh, oh, Talaba. Psalm 75 verse 10. He says, All the horns of the wicked also I will cut off. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. God said, I will cut off all the horns of the wicked. We saw in Isaiah 58, God said, Is it not the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness? Yes. So, the wicked has an arrow, 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 horns. They have horns and arrows. But God said, I will cut 
cut off all the horns of the wicked, of which he uses to cause wickedness. So we are praying, oh Lord, let every horns of the wicked be cut off. Let every horns of the wicked be cut off from our life. Come on, lift up your voice. Pray. Pray. Lift up the voice. Oh Lord, let every horn be cut off in our life in the name of Jesus. Right now, even as we pray, let every horn, let every horn, let every horn be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let every horn be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let every horns of the wicked against my life be cut off. Let, it let every horns of the wicked let it be against my life let be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let every horns of the wicked against my life be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let every horns of the wicked be cut off. Let every horns of the wicked be cut off. Let every horns of the wicked be cut off. Hey, we come out. Every horse of the wicked be cut off. La papa, 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 la let every horse of the wicked be cut off. Let every horse of the wicked be cut off. We can't tell it. Let every horse of the wicked be cut off. Let every horse of the wicked be cut off. Let every horse of the wicked be cut off. Let every horse of the wicked be cut off. We cut off the horse of the wicked. We cut off. La papa. La papa. La papa. La papa. La papa. In the name of Jesus. La papa. 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 La now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, a rivers in the desert. God said, I am doing a new thing, number one, and number two, I am going to make a way. That is what we call divine breakthroughs and divine manifestation. You are praying, oh Lord, oh Lord, do a new thing in my life. Do a new thing in my and life. And cause breakthroughs in my life. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Let there be breakthroughs. Let there be breakthroughs. Let there be breakthroughs. Breakthrough in your finance. Breakthrough in your marriage. Breakthrough in your health. Breakthrough on every side. Oh Lord, cause a divine breakthrough. Let there be divine breakthrough. Oh Lord, let me be breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Whatever you need, let it come to pass. Let it be breakthroughs. Let it be breakthroughs. Let it be breakthroughs. Let it be breakthroughs. Ada baba, eh malaba, eh lama da, baba baba, shaba baba, raba baba, eh baba, lebros kaba baba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the breakthroughs in the atmosphere. There are breakthroughs in the atmosphere. 
Jesus. Miracles are happening. Right now. Breakthroughs are taking place. Right now in Jesus. God is opening that closed door for you. Right now in Jesus. That closed door is opening for you. Right now, right now. Right Doors now. are opening. Right now. In Jesus. Deliverance are taking place. Right now, right Miracle. now. Miracle. The Lord is touching you. Right now. Right the Lord now. is touching you. Take it. Take God it. is healing. Take it. God is breaking you through. Take it now. Breakthrough is coming. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Now we are praying. Our last prayer. And I'll minister to some few people. And then we end. Many of you have been at a place of limitation, delay, and stagnation for a long time. And it seems that your situation not, is, is impossible. But the Bible says, but with God, all things are, are possible. possible. And so we are praying, oh God, oh God, as we pray right now, we let every impossible situation be, te- be turned into possibility. Jesus. We command every stagnation, setback, limitation to be broken. And as you make a way in the wilderness, make a way for my life. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your Oh Lord, make a way, make a way. Let every limitation be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Libra Skabaya Bandiriyama Skabaya Baba Baya Bat Kabaya Baba Ya Baba Bat Libra Skabaya Bandiriyama Lift up your voice, lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Psalm 121 verse 7 and 8. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and your coming in. In from this time forth, even forevermore. We are praying that oh Lord, preserve our lives. Preserve our families. Preserve preserve our our going out and our coming. Protect us from any evil. Lift up your voice and pray. No evil shall come near you. The Lord shall preserve you. The Lord shall protect you. The Lord shall cover you. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. We pray for covering. We pray for preservation. In the name of Jesus. Protect us, O Lord. In Jesus' name, begin to thank God for answer prayer. Thank God for answering your prayer. Thank God. Begin to bless God from your from the depth of your heart. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Now, there is a name I hear in my spirit. Anthony. Anthony. The Lord said to me, Anthony, God is coming through for you. The Lord is coming through for you. And he's granting you that breakthrough and that victory. Anthony. Anthony. The Lord is saying to me, Anthony, he is bringing you that breakthrough. I don't know what you're going through right now, but I see it's like a web. A web around you. And in the realms of the spirit, that web covers you and you're unable to break forth. But see, yes, the Lord, today marks the end of that spiritual web that the enemy has caught you in. God is breaking you through. Anthony. Anthony. I heard the name Priscilla. 
Sister Priscilla, the Lord is ministering to me that that fibroid issue, fibroid issue is touching Priscilla. And the Lord said to me, any curse in the family, God has broken it. In the name ah, of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Adam, 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 the Lord said, that yoke in your father's house, that causes men to come down when they go up, that curse is broken. Right now, in Jesus. We break every curse. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Adam, the Lord said to me, in the family, it's like when people, men try to build a house, they pay with their life or they lose their income completely. But the Lord said, you have been exempted. In the name of Jesus. You have been exempted. In Jesus. Even at this hour of prayer, right. you have been exempted. Right now in Jesus. La Dala Bahaya. I see Lord. miracles. I see breakthroughs in the atmosphere. In the God of... is touching his people. Right. God is blessing his people. Right now in Jesus' name. The Lord said to me, he is releasing financial abundance. Financial abundance. Financial abundance. Right now. Financial abundance. Right. Receive it now. Right now. Receive it now. Right now. Receive it now. Right now in Jesus. Any form of sickness in your body. Mm. Any form of affliction in your body. The Lord is touching you. Right now. The Lord is touching you. Right now in Jesus. Name. Right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Receive the touch of now. Ah. Avatalama, lift up the voice and pray. Receive, receive, receive from the Lord. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Receive from the Lord. 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 Pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Lord carried my spirit into the class of glory. And I see a name, Linda. And the Lord said to me, Linda, that property that you've been trying to sell and it's not working, nobody's coming forth. That house, uh -huh, the Lord is bringing a breakthrough. Right now. And the Lord showed me a sign that there's like a fire and a smoke between Linda and the spouse. And the Lord said to me, any confusion that the enemy is plotting. Ah, in fact, there are some ladies as I'm talking to you now, you and your spouses, there are confusion. Serious confusion. But the Lord is bringing peace to that home. Right now, the Lord is bringing peace and harmony to that home. Right now, Jesus. Anyone with marital crisis, mm. I hear the Lord saying to me, I am bringing peace. Right now, Jesus. Ah, La Dala Madaya. I am bringing peace. I hope. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Say my lavada. Lay I am bringing healing to that marriage. Bring it healing. Lay on the Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come and begin to thank God. Thank God once again. Thank God once again. Thank God. Hey, thank God. Thank God. Miracles are taking place all over the place. Breakthroughs are taking place all over the place. Shapa Papa. We thank you for your service. Miracle filling this place in the name of Jesus. We see signs and wonders. Signs and wonders manifesting in our midst. In the name of Jesus. Right now, right now. We cancel accident. We cancel accident. We cancel accident. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. see the Lord said to me I should tell you to be careful I see you having an accident there's an accident on the every road and not the one road Charles and I can see but we cancel any accident right we now. declare it will never work in the name of Jesus any accident around the every road and the Dodua road 
against anyone we cancel it right now we cancel it we cancel it we cancel it come on pray and cancel us we come against any right now in the name of jesus let any accident be cancelled. Let any accident be cancelled right now. 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 Let any accident there is somebody the Lord said to me you receive a phone call from the sitting government office for certain projects and certain positions I see in the realms of the spirit that you were supposed to be keeping that contract the project and that appointment or whatever it may be but there is a spiritual sabotage mm. And the Lord said, I should pray for you. That any spiritual sabotage will be broken. Right now in Jesus' name. And that you will get what is due you. In the name of Jesus. That there will be that connection. In the name of Jesus. That contact. In the name of because Jesus. Because they told you they are going to call you back. Yes. But they have not called. Mm. And it's been a while now. Yes. But say yes, the Lord. The wait is over. Right now, the delay is over. It's over in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lay Bonded, Lay Calabar, Lay Cabante, 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 Lay I see a well and the well is springing forth with water mm. this well is springing forth with water and I heard the voice of the Lord in my left ear saying I am quenching every test right now in Jesus and I am causing every dryness to come to an end in the name of Jesus. by the wells that is coming out Receive your refreshment. Right now, in the name of Receive your restoration. Receive your glory. Receive the favor. Receive the blessing. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I pray for all of you, wherever you may be. Those of you online, wherever you are watching from, we pray for you that may your day be smooth. May the day go well for you. May the Lord prosper your going out and your coming in. Whatever you touch, let it prosper. In the name of let Jesus. this new day open up unto you. In the name of let the day be open up unto you. May you hear good news. 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 Receive the blessings of the Lord. In Jesus' name. And above all, may the Lord protect you. Amen. May the Lord cover you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you all. And the Lord bless you. This has been. This has been your man servant, Prophet John B. Kwanza. I'll catch you up again soon. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.